Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make braised lamb shanks. This recipe has been on my website for years. Lamb shanks are far and away my favorite way to enjoy lamb. And this recipe is super easy and super delicious. To start, you'll want to preheat an oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you'll need four lamb shanks. You'll want to season them with a generous amount of salt. Make sure you turn them and get all of the sides seasoned. I used about half a teaspoon of salt per shank. We're gonna sear these on the stove, but before we do that, I'm gonna set those aside and make our sauce. Place one white onion into a food processor, and you can see I've cut it up into chunks. You'll also need about four medium-sized carrots, also cut into chunks. Three to four stalks of celery, cut into chunks once again four cloves of garlic, and you can use whole garlic, but I have all of mine minced up right now, and then two tablespoons of tomato paste. Then I put the lid on here and pulse this until it's all finely chopped up. This will end up cooking in the pan and breaking down and form a sauce. So you want everything finely chopped, which is why we're using a food processor and not doing it by hand. Next, get a large oven safe braising pot ready on the stove by heating it over medium high heat. Add in a little bit of vegetable oil, olive oil, or grapeseed oil. And then, working two at a time, you wanna sear your lamb shanks on all sides. You're looking for a nice kiss of brown and so that the fat starts to crisp up and render. Once you get all four shanks seared, you wanna plop them out of the pan and set them aside for just a second. Then we're gonna add in the carrot and onion mixture. Get that all going in the pot and let that cook, stirring and pulling up all the brown bits from the lamb. We'll let this cook for about three to five minutes. Browning the veggies just a little bit will bring out some extra flavor. Then we'll pour in two cups of cranberry juice, or I suppose you could use wine. But I love the flavor that the cranberry juice adds. Then I'm gonna add the lamb shanks back into this mixture. I'm gonna make sure that I tuck those in and mix things around just a little bit so that all of the meat can get some of that vegetable mixture and the cranberry juice. Or instead of cooking it in a pot and braising it that way, you could also just transfer this whole mixture to a slow cooker and cook it on low for eight hours. But today, I'm gonna go traditional with an oven braise. So I'm gonna add in two sprigs of rosemary, pop the lid on, and slide this into the 350 degree oven to braise. It'll take about two and a half to three hours for your lamb to get tender. I like to remove the lid from the pot during the last 30 minutes of cooking so that the exposed lamb can get a little bit browned. Mm. It is so good. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.